So onto the subject of buying a first pistol. Everyone's needs are different. I can't tell you what is perfect for you, um, except maybe you. And But I can give you my considering factors as to what has worked well for me and what my factors were that I considered. So if I was a first time buyer, and I was a little hesitant about shooting a semi-automatic semi pistol, something like a Glock 19, a Glock 26, um, a SIG. If I was hesitant about learning about the mechanics of that gun, how to clean it, um, how to load it, I know for some people, uh, especially first time shooters, like loading an actual um, magazine and um, kind of you know, chambering the round can be cumbersome or it can feel like a lot, especially under pressure. That's understandable um then that's okay i would probably think about a platform like a revolver something in 357 magnum or 38 special uh, especially if you intend to do or use it for as much versatility as possible so the reason why i like 357 magnum and 38 special is because as i mentioned if you are someone new who is into the firearm um you know firearm world 38 special can be a round that is very easy to shoot especially out of bigger pistols if we're thinking about a handgun or a sorry a revolver that's anywhere between four and six inches shooting a 30 shooting 38 special out of it is much more manageable now if you are someone who is getting more comfortable with 38 special and would like to practice more with something with a little bit more power you can with the same platform upgrade to 357 magnum remember these two can be shot out of the same pistol. So that is extremely um, beneficial to you because you don't have to switch platforms to get a more powerful round. Now, it should be noted that just because if your gun is 38 Special and is only 38 Special, it cannot shoot 357 Magnum. It will not fit, it will not work, do not recommend it. However, if you are shooting 357, uh, out of, if you're shooting 357 um, caliber revolver, then you can shoot 38 Special. So I'll go ahead and show you my carry gun. This one is a revolver, a Ruger SP-101. For the purposes of safety, it has been cleared. You can actually see right through that. There is nothing in there. So for the purposes of um, everyday carry, this is my, my go-to revolver. And the reason why I like it so much is because it is very easy to load. If you take a look at... Um, the chambers here you literally all you have to do when you're loading is take one bullet and put it in each hole it is much easier to, than than racking a slide or maybe putting it into a magazine if you know your thumb strength isn't what you want where, where you want it to be um, so this is a gun that is very easy to load it's also very easy to clean as you can see there's no parts that you have to strip take out um, you literally can just clean it just like this and it'll be a weapon that you can um, service and at the same time enjoy shooting. The way that I carry this 357 revolver, it is a two and a half inch uh, or two and a quarter inch barrel. It's a Ruger SP-101. And um, the way that I carry it is, as you saw, with my shirt here, you really can't see it unless you put your shirt up. And then it has a thumb break here, which makes sure that it's secure. It is not going anywhere. The trigger is also covered, so there's no likelihood of me um, firing it when it doesn't need to be. And then in addition, uh, even if I did want to pull the trigger somehow, some way and, and in the world that that could, that could happen, um, it do, probably won't have the travel to fire um, because it's such a heavy trigger. So this is what I carry every day. You cannot tell that it's on me. I'm walking around every single day, uh, even when I bend over, when I'm moving around, you just, you feel the weight of it, but you cannot feel the actual pistol in itself um, because it's just so easy to carry. So the reason why I like this Ruger SP-101 so much, especially the quarter, uh, the two and a quarter inch barrel, and mind you, there are three inch barrels, there are four inch barrels uh, of the Ruger SP-101, and longer barrels traditionally will give you a little bit more velocity and will also give you a little bit better sight picture um, the sight picture is what you can see or what you would describe as like these looking at the sight and also in between um these two um i guess you'd say like fixtures and that allows you to see what your target what your, what your intended target is and uh, allows you to aim a little bit more accurately why i like the two and a quarter inch barrel so much is because it is so small it is so um, short that I can keep it concealed very easily. Um, now this gun is a little heavy as you can see here like this is a steel 
frame, you know, gun that is built like a tank. Rugers are known to be built like a tank. Um, it's heavier than, say, your LCR um, or um, other kind of light, much like lighter pocket pistols. But I like that this gun is so heavy because as a result, when you're shooting rounds like 357 Magnum, they're much more easier to manage the recoil than say if you're shooting one of some of those lighter pistols. Um, it's, it's really, it's physics. If you have a lighter gun and you're shooting a very powerful round, a, the recoil um, management on that gun will be much harder to manage because there is less power, or sorry, less weight to manage the power. Now you have a stronger, um, or, yeah, I would say heavier gun. Um, that, that felt recoil will be a little bit less because that weight is distributing the power, the energy that is coming from the mu muzzle velocity of the pistol. And again, one of the reasons why I love the just the, the revolver platform is because it's so easy to clean, so easy to shoot, um, so easy to load. I mean, it's just this is a gun that like just adds a package by right itself as itself sits. There's no stripping needed. You could if you wanted to get more a more detailed clean, but there really is very little. Um, that needs to be done for a revolver. It's also extremely easy to shoot. You literally just point um, and you pull the trigger and that is it. You don't have to worry about um, cocking the slide. You don't have to worry about ma releasing the magazine, um, putting the, the gun into battery. You point, you shoot, it's over. So that, that would be my recommendation. Um, it doesn't have to be this Ruger SP-101 specifically. Uh, I know that Smith & Wesson 686 and um, four inch barrels, Ruger GP100s and four inch barrels. I've had really good experiences with those revolvers, with those platforms. However, I also know that the LCR uh, is a really good revolver for shooting 38 Special. I wouldn't recommend shooting 357 out of it, but the revolver, a uh, revolver platform is a great place to start. And if you are choosing a revolver, um, I would look at something with a four inch barrel or above, specifically if you're looking for home defense. If you're looking to carry your, your first revolver, uh, then I would definitely go with something uh, three inches or below. But again, this is up to you. Based off my experiences and based off of my research, um, a revolver platform in any size um, is gonna do you great. In addition, if you are someone who thinks you're gonna grow your firearm collection, um, you're like, okay, you buy a revolver, great. And you're like, okay, but I want, I want, I don't know, I've always kind of wanted a, a repeater, right? A lever action, um, or maybe even a bolt action rifle. Well, lever actions and some bolt action rifle, rifles will shoot 38 Special and 357 Magnum. So again, you can extend to another platform, but still shoot the same bullets that you use for your pistol, um, and you, you know, you'll be able to to share ammo um, and at the same time enjoy both types of guns. So something like a Henry a rifle or Marlin or even a Rossi 357 or 38 Special. Um, when you're shooting 38 Special or 357 out of them, then regardless of which cartridge, more likely the 357 Magnum, you get a lot more power, a lot more velocity, a lot more energy. Um, and when you're shooting it out of a rifle um, platform, it almost feels like it's not even there. The, the bullet is so well managed. The bullet recoil, the, the, the energy that creates the recoil is so well managed that you barely feel a thump. And that is it. So I highly recommend um, a revolver platform uh, if you are new to shooting. And um, I'd always recommend, you know, shooting 357 Magnum or 38 Special because it's such a versatile round. If you like this channel, uh, feel free to hit like on the video and subscribe. If you have a question, if you want to leave a comment, um, feel free to leave a comment, ask a question. And always remember, knowledge is power, precision is practice. Keep your friends close and your grouping closer.